Back with another reading, y'all. It's going to be a quick one. <laughs> it is a collective love reading. Hey, Faith. It's going to be a collective love reading. Hey, Mercy. Hey, Ronnie Mac. Anastasia. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your follows. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you cannot stay to hear all of the reading today. <sighs> Somebody is. <clears throat> I'm going to wait just a few moments because I know a few people were <laughs> hoping that I was going to come back to do a love reading. So just going to give a couple seconds, let everybody get in here. Um, if you are new, I am an overall intuitive reader. So I'm going to always give you the intuitive messages that I received from Source, God, Universe. Before we get into the cards, Eight of Cups, I'm telling you, somebody walk, listen, what's that song? Oh my gosh, I might be dating myself. Um, keep on walking, I ain't talking. Y'all know that song? Keep on walking, I ain't talking. Um, <laughs> what your man got to do with me? I got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. See, I got a man. Um... This in this intuitive energy, let me just get into it. Sorry, y'all, I can't hold. I'm going to make sure that it's on YouTube. If you missed anything, make sure you help your cousins out in the chat. We're going to get into the intuitive message first that brought me here, and then we'll bring out the cards. Um, make sure you follow me on YouTube. All of my TikToks are always placed on YouTube, and all of my readings are timeless, meaning that something that I recorded two months ago can resonate with you right now or in two months from now, so... It is overall collective, meaning everyone, all genders, everybody, okay? Let's just get into it. The song that brought me here, if you're familiar, is the OJs. If I'm not, oh, no, no, no. It's the Shy Lights. Have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Oh, I hear her name when the cold winds blow. And the sweet music on my radio. Have you seen her? So, <laughs> In the beginning of that song, this person starts to recollect the fact that he no longer has this person that meant everything to him in his life. This person vanished, left, abandoned him, whatever, because he was not treating this person right. Um, and then I ended up getting a couple more songs as well, all kind of with the same thing that someone is finally waking up to just how important you were um, in their life. I'm hearing that this kind of started out with this person thinking that a lot of, of many parts of you was kind of boring or plain or not exciting. This is someone who I feel like always wanted something exciting to go on, right? Always had to have this adrenaline rush, always had to have this over the top experience with you all the time. And it was just like if they didn't have this over the top exciting experience, then they would go have it somewhere else. Right. And not necessarily cheating on you. It could be, you know, your story better than me. It could just be running around with their friends, getting into shit like just always this adrenaline rush energy. I just keep feeling around this person. And it's like I think this person is finally starting to understand that, yeah, those are memories and good times. But nothing's like having someone who's 10 toes down for you. Nothing's like having someone be true to you or to to be a ride or die for you. Like, yeah, every moment can't be this this high adrenaline this pumping, you know, home alone type of energy, right? It, who can build on that? Who can, who can rely on that when someone's always running towards what's exciting? And I feel like this person is now seeing it because their life is not as exciting as it used to be. And this could be for a number of reasons. Maybe the cards will tell us I'm getting a few different things. One, because this person's getting a little older. So if you happen to be 50 plus, 60 plus, and your body just ain't moving the way it used to, then baby, you can't keep up with the pups. Now you got to sit your ass on the porch, okay? You can't run the streets like you used to. Um, some of them, they hit financial hardships, which puts them in a realm where they just can't do like they used to do. Um, if they did have a financial hardship, they're also seeing how their friends are treating them differently. Maybe they used to fit the bill because they had it like that, and now they don't really have it like that, and their friends ain't looking out. You know what I mean? Um, whatever it was that changed this person to now they have to look at their life and find structure, right? Like mature decisions. Um, this could even be like new responsibilities or just taking on responsibilities. Maybe this person never had their own house. Now they have their own house and now they're noticing, wow, everything, everything that they didn't think about the toilet paper, the dish soap, 
You know what I mean? Vacuuming every, every week, you know, laundry consistently. So there might be things that this person just never had to take care of. And I just feel like this person has a new perspective on life. And they think about a lot of things that y'all that y'all did that was not exciting, but it was loving. It was caring. It was calm. It was peaceful. It was acceptance, right? It was it was funny or it was fun. Even if we weren't going 110 miles an hour down the highway racing people, we were having a good time playing Jenga, Monopoly, watching, I don't know, Harlem Nights. I'm getting just like a lot of old, like some old movies, Boomerang. These may not be movies that you know. Life is another one that just came up. Um, or even some old cartoon movies that I'm seeing as well. I don't know who's into like the ducks. Like Scrooge McDucks and the Little Ducks. I don't know. I'm also getting Ninja Turtles. It doesn't really matter what that is, but you were a good, like a good time at home. Somewhere to be safe, somewhere to be loved, somewhere to make memories, inside jokes, play fighting. Like y'all were friends and lovers, right? It wasn't just about excitement. And now this person I feel like is in this space where they want to have a strong structure, maybe even a strong relationship, foundation, a home. Yeah, they still want to have fun. I want to be very clear. This person still enjoys an adrenaline rush, but I think they're starting to see the importance of having structure in their life and someone who can help them stay in that structure. Um, I'm going to be honest right off the bat. This person's energy or these this energy, this collective energy that I feel with this other person is like they think they can just come back. And when I say that, that's exactly what I mean. Like, oh, we'll just laugh and get back to it. Like, come on, you know me. You know how I do. Yeah, I had a minute. Someone, I don't, I don't know that they're fully dialing into the fact that you've changed. You've grown. You have strong boundaries. You can't just be sugarcoated into some shit. Meaning somebody can't sugarcoat their apology. Can't sugarcoat that they know that they did, they, that they did you wrong. It's like, no, you need to come with a direct apology, right? with an itemized bulleted list of the things that you know that you did. It's like you want this person to take accountability, but also to acknowledge the depth of either hurt, abandonment, or whatever they've done to, to sever this, this connection. If an apology at all, if, if half of y'all want to hear it at all. I know y'all don't want to hear about old people, but I'm just letting you know that this person does recognize that they, they want that with you. Also that they can't find whatever this genuine heart that you have, it's nowhere. It's nowhere in this world, right? And I know there's a lot of collective, but <laughs> when it comes to this one person and your genuine heart, it's just something about you. And this person feels like you, you would be a legacy person. You're someone who they can trust. Maybe you had this person's credit card, social security number, like they they left maybe their wallets around you, bundles of money around you, jewelry. Like they they've left some very precious things around you, and nothing came up missing. Nothing came up. Um, you know, you can like you never crossed any boundaries. I feel like with this person to disrespect, to steal from them, to slander them, to make them feel worse. Even after I feel like they possibly could have hurt your heart, broke your heart, you could have really. You know how people say. You go low, I'm going to go to hell. Like you really could have went to hell and drugged this person, but it was like for what, right? It was more like I just need to walk away. Um, this person is just reminiscing. Some of y'all, they can't find you. Can't find a number to get through. Mind games just popped out. Can't find a number to get through. Can't find a person who can look at your social media. I keep hearing I want to see your face. I don't know what that's about. Somebody knows. If that doesn't resonate... Somebody knows you're out here dating. And I almost feel like this person wants to run into the people, the type of people that you're dating now. I don't know if this is because they just want to be nosy or if they want to try to look better than the other person. I'm getting a lot of stuff. They want to see how, how you react to this person or like what your eyes look like when you look at this other person. So if you are dating someone and your ex is trying to snoop and be nosy, they just want to know if you're really in love. And I feel like they, they'll know if they look in your eyes is what I'm hearing. Or they just want to see the type of person that you got in your life. So let's see what comes out in the cards. DMX, what they really want from a... Somebody let me know. A few of y'all... 
um, maybe connected to someone who feels like they don't know. They don't know how to be that person for you. They just want their spot back. What, I mean, what the, what? You don't qualify. You have to be this tall to ride this ride. <laughs> you have to be maturely and emotionally this tall to ride this ride. So if you don't know how and you're not asking and being vulnerable, uh, true jumpers only, then I don't think my collective is going to let you back. Half of y'all are already dating new people, talking to new people, interested in dating new people. You're not really too much worried about this person, but there's a whole lot of nostalgia around this person. True jumpers, why do they feel like they're sliding out the back? Like somebody doesn't really want to confess. Do feel like there's some sneaky conversations or they have to, they would have to sneak to talk to you. What is that? Drama. Like I said, there's something that is hindering this person from fully like throw it. I'm telling you, there's something going on here that this person can't just spit it out. They can't just throw it up. They can't just tell you it's going to cause some drama or what they have to tell you would cause drama. Like I said, there's something that they want to be at the truth coming out. They want to be able to speak about their, tr listen, this person wants to be able to speak about these feelings, but I feel like if they do, it's going to cause some drama, some havoc, some arguments, something like that. Could be because of who they're tied to. Could be because of what they did and who they did it with. Could be something about, did somebody take your pictures and post them? Did somebody try to threaten that they were going to expose you? Did... Did y'all have that type of argument where they would have said, like, I'll tell your business or something? Just feels like some backstabbing stuff. Let me get two more cards, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit team. There go mind games again. Immature testing you and analyzing you. This person is really hurt. Crying, depressed, pain, uh, pain and sorrow. Planning and inferno. Whatever they're trying to plan... I feel like every time they try to plan to come back to you to tell you something, something else happens. This person might be trying to keep a third party out of their business or go spiritual attack again. This person's getting hit with karma. If they have a child, that baby mom or baby dad is running them ragged. If they came into a lot of money, they're chasing their dollars now, so they ain't got really no time for nothing else. I'm telling you, this Empress card keeps Empress or Emperor. You are someone who's abundant. You're confident. Like I said, you are stable. You're, 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 you're powerful, right? You're mature. You're alluring. You're peaceful. You're home. Does someone call you home or you're my home? You're my person. You're my lifeline. I'm getting a lot of stuff. You're my soulmate. You're my twin flame. You're my twin. Twin, where have you been? nobody loves you i can't stand that song i'm sorry but like i said this person probably has a third party someone who i don't i think someone gave them money gave them a place to stay someone has something over this person's head there could even be videotapes or pictures i keep coming up with videotapes and pictures that somebody's trying to blackmail somebody with so if that seems like your story or your person i feel like there's something in there this person really wants to reconcile, but unsure because there's an envious ass person that I feel like they got intimate with. Someone that they went on roller coaster rides with. Like I said, this adrenaline rush bullshit that they probably did. There goes that unemployed somebody. Somebody ain't got it. <laughs> they ain't got it like they used to. Some type of conflict from their childish ass actions that drove them away from their empress, their emperor, the person that they wish they would have like really built a life with. I'm also feeling like somebody um, I'm hearing. I was I was just playing with them girls. I was going to get right back. Um, Jay-Z. I think that's Jay-Z and Maya. If you started, um, if you changed your hair color, this man or male or female changed your hairstyle or hair color. If you're wearing makeup now, you didn't do that before. If you lost weight, gained a little weight. There's something about a physical appearance that this person is just loving on you. Loving. And I mean loving on you. So maybe they have seen you and you don't know it. And that doesn't have to be physical. That could just be pictures. Since you left this person, if you change your hair color, change how your hair is cut, curled, whatever, 
It's either a losing weight or a gaining rate, gaining weight in all the right places. Makeup, clear. Maybe your skin got clear because I just heard dermatologist. So maybe you got clearer skin now. I don't know what this is, but this person I feel like has seen you. And they like what they, they like with how you change. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, oh, thank you. That's another thing I'm hearing. Like, you age so well. Maybe the person that they're running around with didn't age so well. Because <laughs> I just heard prune. So maybe there's something about the way you took care of yourself or the way you take care of yourself this person just misses, right? I'm telling you, this person wants, it, they so badly want to tell you something. And it feels like, to me, the truth. This is giving me that energy of, you know, when they say you put your love letter in a bottle and throw it out in the sea and it'll find your person on the other side. Like, I feel like this person is holding on to some type of fairy tale like that. Like, if I keep holding on to the to this me wanting to manifest us talking, it's going to happen. Like, if I keep thinking about it and I keep praying about it and I keep and I keep eventually it's going to happen. And I don't I don't I don't know that that's going to happen. Like, think about how big the ocean is, right? How long that bottle probably could take. And if the bottle fills up with water, it's going to go to the depths. So it might not reach. Maybe this person had the opportunity to do six of swords, calmer times, be honest, walk away from things that, you know, didn't serve them a purpose. Maybe you know for a fact that y'all have had an interaction where it was like, if this person apologizes and get it right, I'll give them an opportunity. And they just... Mind games, immature, testing you type of situation. And you were like, I'm, that's it. Like, whatever. You're never going to change. If you were, if my collective, those watching this, this recording or this, this video, this reading, if you really, I feel like in the past two, I'm, I want to say two to five, two to five years, you really thought I could give this person a chance if they grow up because I know that this is my person and they still played and you really were like, I'm done. And ever since then, like, you've really tried your best not to even engage in their energy, engage in any pictures, engage in any nostalgia, any memories. I think that's the person that I'm, I believe that is this person. You would have really given them, given them one last, one last try. I really do feel like that. Like, like yin yang energy. I know you're not like me. I'm a homebody you know what I mean? I'm a little bit of an introvert, but you're my extrovert. You get me outside myself. We can have fun. You, you show me how to get my adrenaline rushing. But the only thing is, I can never slow you down. I can never get you grounded. I can never show you how to be a more stable person for yourself. How to slow down and heal yourself. It's like, it's like my collective was definitely coming out of their shell, but this person just ran free. And maybe this person's not your usual type or you're not their usual type. But there was just something about this either fire, water, air, earth, opposites. There are that childish card again. It's something about like even though we, we grew up two different ways or we have two different beliefs or whatever it is. It's just something about we just mix. We just fit. Right. But it was all, it just after maybe after a while, it was just very one sided. If it wasn't fiery, passionate, and, and, you know, exciting, then this person just felt like, oh, you're boring, or this is boring, or I don't really want a relationship now. <sighs> Didn't I say this person calls you either their person, their soulmate, their twin flame? This person knows that there was something special about your connection, whether they call it a soulmate or a spiritual union or not. They know that there was something more than that. But this person is still hiding something. So if your ex has come back talking about you're their person and they wish they would have gave you kids and a marriage and blah, blah, blah. Make sure you get to the bottom of it. I'm not going to be here too long with this reading. This, Yeah, I, I just feel like there's a lot of calculated steps behind this, y'all. A lot of calculated steps and there shouldn't be. It should be very clear and very plain what this person wants to say to you. About either hurting you, leaving you depressed, leaving you for dead, playing with your mind, knowing that you are a high value person but not treating you that way. But unless they are being 100% and, and laying it out, I don't know that I would entertain that, y'all. Yeah, 
<laughs> y'all can have the conversation, but unless they're saying what needs to be said, y'all need to go ahead and walk away from that bullshit and go towards your nine of cups, your happiness. And y'all know the nine of cups is that single energy. So single, successful, happy, vibing high and ready to attract what loves me, right? What's, what's vibing high with me. So it could be a conversation. It could just be energy that you're feeling from this person. Somebody have a photo shoot. Maybe you took pictures on your birthday, a holiday, a vacation. But it feels like a lot of pictures. If you've had a, took a lot of pictures on a vacation or at a party, at a wedding, a barbecue, that may be how this person got a hold of this picture that they see you in. <clears throat> Not for everybody. Everybody don't mix, ain't mixing friends or families. So it's not going to fit for everybody. Just a few from the tarot. Thank you. I'm telling you this. I'm hearing I love you by faith. I love you. I want you. You're the one that I play for. I can't take it anymore. Sorry. I had to just. Ooh, took me back to the skating ring on that one. Um, <laughs> this person had decisions or has decisions to be made when it comes to their heart space, but it does require them to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of angelic energy that if this person's not being honest, they get stopped. They get hit with karma. Um, and that could be a number of things. They get ready to, to try to pop up at your house and they end up with two flat tires. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, they're trying to book a trip to come and just fly in to see you and out of nowhere all their cards have fraud on them They have to you know cut all the cards off. They have no way of using any electronic payment I don't know. It could be anything. I just feel like the angels continue to intercede when this person's not being a hundred percent Because I'm hearing it's God blessed So it has to be godly aligned and you can't come in here with that dirt like you can't come in here with with scandals and drama and sneakiness and hiding shit like that's not you can't align a spiritual connection in that way listen nine of wands this person got a lot of stuff that i feel like they have collected karma bad decisions debt i'm hearing bodies but i don't think that that's unaliving bodies i think that that's slaying them laying them down you know what i mean what what the braxton mom say laying it low and spreading it wide <laughs> saying that again um because or sis was over here laying it low and spreading it wide in whatever way that may be this just feels like a number of karmatic situations that some of it they need to let go and just come to terms that they made bad horrible ass decisions um and some things they just have to go through this person there goes that eight of cups again this person may have some legal things some legal actions is what i'm hearing that they need to take care of they could have put their name on something and then got left for dead so maybe they Got someone a car, got someone a house, paid for somebody something. Yep, they're at King of Pentacles. Somebody had it. They used to have it. If you know that this person came into some money, baby, somebody took them. I just feel like somebody took them for that money or a lot of that money or a lot of their time or something. This person may now have longer hair, a beard, a longer beard. Maybe they wear a five o'clock shadow now. Oh, I can't make it up. Y'all see this? This is the only deck that I have that has two lovers cards in it, and it came out twice. And then you got the strength card. My Lord. This was a spiritual union, y'all. It really was. I'm hoping that I get some initials of names to make it a little more clear to who this person could be for y'all. I'm also hearing that y'all tamed the beast within because y'all really could have went in on this person. That could have been verbally, emotionally, mentally, physically. We don't we don't promote violence, okay? Um, but whatever that may have been, you could have really maybe put this person out there. You know what I mean? Really ran them through the mud, really cussed them out or whatever it was. But it was like, it's, it's going to be better for me to just walk away, disconnect. Maybe y'all just blocked them, moved away. I'm hearing kudos to you. Kudos to you. You also had to be very strong through this situation. I'm, th I'm, I'm speaking of your emotions. Because I think some of y'all thought that maybe you were playing my games with yourself, believing that this person really loved you, but they did it. But then you go back and forth on that. Like, well, we had to have had love because of this and that. I want you to stop questioning whether or not there was love here. There was love here. This person just enjoyed the flights of fancy situations and the adrenaline rush. Y'all know what I call it. 
that amusement park lifestyle, going from roller coaster to roller coaster, from game to game, never wanting to settle down. From roller coaster to roller coaster, from game to game, never wanting to settle down. Now they're dealing with the karmatic situations that they've been able to tie themselves to. Like I said, this nine of wands, it comes with some stuff. They've chained themselves to some shit. And it's not paying out too well. It's a lot of burdens. It's, I'm here. it's hard work. So maybe this person used to get money easy. However, it was easily in their hand. I don't know what that would be for y'all. Maybe if they're a waiter. Maybe they wait on the block. I don't know. But I just feel like this person had a lot of residual income that's not there anymore. Broke their own heart. Broke your heart and their own heart at the same time. Not only that, this person may be very bored these days. Because they ain't got the money to go run around and act no damn fool. See, this is what I talked about recently with one of my girls. Is that sometimes... Money allows people to do things that they use that they normally probably wouldn't even entertain, right? But when you got the extra money and the boredom goes along with it, you end up in some chaotic, karmatic shit, right? That's how I feel. I feel like this person had a lot of money and maybe too much time on their hands at one point in time. Listen, <laughs> those days are gone. <laughs> I just heard, oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Um, even if you don't know what that means, it's just kind of like this person may have bet on a fugazi situation. Um, they may have tricked themselves out of their own spot. It's just time. Listen, you over here manifesting, <laughs> creating a life for yourself. You out in the garden or you in the living room with your feet all propped up. Listen, star card, getting your wishes fulfilled, right? <laughs> collective and all this person got is a knight of cups a knight of cups ain't gonna hold to this magician and star energy i ain't giving up my spiritual everything for this to get on the back of this little rusty white horse you're gonna lost your mind in real life okay i'm not even gonna have to be on the back of nothing i'm about to have me a private driver do you hear me private jet private helicopter life like what are you talking about trying to get me on the back of this little raggedy horse a driver do you hear me private jet private helicopter life like what are you talking about trying to get me on the back of this little raggedy horse a driver do you hear me private jet private helicopter life like what are you talking about trying to get me on the back of this little raggedy horse hell no to the no 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 this person does not have anything to really offer you if these uh, original cards even if the tarot would have came out and said that this person is apologetic and they recognize and they're ready to communicate. I would say, hey, y'all, if you really love this person, speak. But no, nah, not with the devil showing up on my goddamn desk. Mm -mm. And like I said, this person is tied to something or multiple things that they can't just walk away from. This could be legal. This could be that it could be a child. This could be that they got their name on something that they can't just take their name off of. I just seen the five of swords. So something that I think they thought that they were going to play with or set up. Let me say this. The trickster got tricked. Whatever they were doing, it ended up backfiring. So I don't know if it was a get rich quick scheme. I don't know if they were flossing like they had it and then ended up getting with somebody who spent it all. I don't know what it is, but the trickster got tricked. And I'm hearing not just tricked with this, whatever they had going on, these nine of wands, but tricked out of their spot with you. Because while they were digging these graves here, they didn't know that you had already put this shit to rest. You had had to repass. Y'all had already put a headstone down. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little silly today. My apologies for the inconvenience. Not for real, but I'm going to say it because it sounds nice. One more card, Spirit, because I'm about to wrap this up. Y'all are on the right path. Love is coming for you. I feel like the lover's card is down here. Thank you, Spirit. The lover's card is down here twice because, yes, this person had the, the option to stay or to go, right? But now it's kind of the ball is in your court, right? To stay or to go type situation. Like I said, if the cards were a little bit different, maybe I would say have a, a, an open conversation. But the cards are what they are. The energy, let me be clear because I'm an intuitive reader. The energy and the messages are what they are. 
This person is not in the energy to be able to suffice to someone who is on an, a magician star card energy level. Like as you speak, blessings come into your life. You don't want to suck you bit sitting around taking your blessings, baby. Justice is what you're in. You're in a level of justice right now. You're getting all the dharma. And if y'all haven't seen that on top of her head is the infinity symbol. What you sent out is now coming back to you. You, like I said, you could have been a nasty person to this person, to your ex, but you decided it wasn't worth it, right? My morals and my values and my respect for myself, for collective, for myself, won't allow me to go to hell on you. Trust and believe I know how to get there and I can drag you, but there's no reason for it because it's going to show and prove, right? My life will be better. And that's why y'all got that infinity symbol over your head. You can't, you can't take what is mine. And I'm not going to give you space to come in here and try to be a succubus over it either. You ain't about to sponge up my good, good blessing. You know how long collective been waiting for this? Ciao, bye. I am seeing um, from the Titanic <laughs> when Jack floated to the bottom of the ocean. Um, I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but I'm just going to give it to you because that's what popped up in my mind's eye. Listen. The two of wands, this person had a decision to make and they felt like the world was in the palm of their hand. So maybe they felt, did somebody like Scarface, Tony Montana, the world, the world and everything in his mind? This is the last time you're going to see a bad guy like me. I just heard that too. So maybe this person thought that they had the gift of gab. Um, they had pool with anybody anywhere. Like I said, this person might have been Big Willie style at one point in time. But baby, I don't know that that's still going on. Like I said, they might have had it. They might still have it. But it just feels like this part, like that hermit energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either way, the world is now here. Now we got two cards of ending, the death and the world. The world talks about a completion of a cycle, completion of this back and forth, of this tug of war, right? It has to come to a close so that I can move into my next season where real love, true love, genuine love is, where prosperity and, and real wealth and generational curses break. Do you understand me? I need to move on to where me and my family are in good health and positive vibes and spiritually vibing high. You get what I'm saying? This person is not in alignment with that. And that's why I believe, first and foremost, the angels are already clipping this person at the toenails. Not even going to wait for the ankles or the knees. We're going to clip you right at the toenails because we ain't even going to do all that. So this person can try to continue to stalk you, look at your... Something's going to keep happening every time so if you're a cross watcher something's going to keep happening every time you try until you get right i hear until you get right with god g-a-w-d god okay <laughs> until you get right with god you can't come in this angelic energy you can't impede you can't spy y'all might like hear of this person's name or it might come across your mind but it's not anything that's like plaguing you in your sleep i don't feel that um I don't even know if I want to pull another deck of cards. I don't even know if it's really worth it, but we'll see what happens. Because after this, I'm going to pull the, um, the butterfly kisses and get something get something from the, uh, the butterfly kisses messages. Sorry, y'all. What's up with this person in symbols? Symbols. I don't know what, what symbols would mean. I don't know if maybe they thought that you carrying the cross was something satanic or tarot or crystals are satanic. But I feel like this person is something about symbols. If that makes any sense to y'all. Maybe y'all are from different countries. I'm seeing like different flags. Different symbols. I don't know what that means. I'm going to let it go, spirit. I don't know what that means. Maybe y'all are from different countries, different tribes. Maybe y'all have sigils in your family. Maybe that's something. Maybe somebody, somebody's family's from the Navy, but somebody else's family might be mostly Army. It could be anything like that, okay? Only if it resonates. It might not resonate for everybody. Well, not today. Boundaries. Not dealing and still upset. I don't, I just, <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I think this person knows it. I think y'all are not so much angry, upset. I don't think y'all are totally avoiding a conversation. I feel like on y'all end, it is what it is. The facts are what the facts. The milestones that we've been through, the shit that you did and I, I allowed or whatever is done. I can't, I'm not Marty McFly. I can't go back and change it, right? So I don't think y'all are coming from an angry place. It's just like, for what? 
What are you here for? What do you want to talk about? What could you clear up for me, right? Like I said, y'all might have been more old school, introverted. You know, watch some old movies, put on some, you know, get some popcorn, door dash some shit, shit. You know, us cooking it. Like, I just feel like you got this old school, down home, you know, cool ass vibe, right? I'm hearing bitch don't kill my vibe. There's something about that, but I think this person thought you were just like, like an A-track player, you know what I mean, compared to their iPhone, like for whatever reason. Now they wish they would have that nostalgia. Something about your cooking. If it's not your cooking, maybe it's just the fact that you're a foodie or you like good food or, or you might be like a home cook meal to this person. Maybe this person has been running around with a lot of like, you know, easy, easy people. We'll call it that. Drive through experiences. <laughs> maybe you're more of that, you know, old school, slow cooking on a Sunday type of thing. You know what I mean? Male or female, because I just heard um, I just heard some male say I can, men can cook too. Ain't nobody say you couldn't cook. I learned primarily. How, well, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna give it all to my daddy, but a lot that I've learned is from my daddy. So I'm not saying men, only women. Okay, trust and believe. The men in my family can burn. Okay, one more card. They want to talk so bad. This is Neo. If you ever think of me anymore. Oh, do you? That's what the song's called. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sometimes I got to go through whatever they're giving me so I can figure it out. But there's a song, Neo, Do You. Do you ever think of me anymore? Somebody is damn sure on your Instagram, baby. I'm seeing the Instagrams. It may not be your TikTok. It might not be your Facebook. But if you got an Instagram and you're like, oh, I don't even use that. You don't have to. You ain't have to have posted nothing in the past seven years. That don't mean that this person ain't going to find a way to go look at them pictures. I'm seeing heavy IG symbol. So Instagram, I think, is primarily where this particular collective, where your person is either looking at old pictures or trying to find new ones. They may wait for you to do the little 24-hour storyline because they know that's going to be like the most recent picture or something of you. Thank you, Spirit. But you know yourself. We're not doing that. Also, uh, uh, like it's almost like you're not in mourning anymore about it. You know how people go and light candles for those, you know, who are on the other side, you know, to give love to them and, and you know, connect to their spirit. It's like, no, I, I, I get it. I know what we've been through, but there's no reason to keep this flame burning, right? I know who I am. I don't have to reminisce on this. I don't have to. I've already healed it. I've already dealt with it. I already looked it in its eye. I've already felt through my heartache and heartbreak. I don't, is someone trying to convince you to go back and talk to this person? You need closure is what I just heard. You need closure. I got closure. Me, Jesus, and all my angels, we came together. And we got closure. Now, whatever that person needs is on their docket, on their menu, on their agenda. I'm good. So if someone's trying to convince you that, oh, but y'all were married for such and such years, or y'all, this was the closest that you would have got to a life partner, I don't give a... At the end of the day, I ain't about to sit here and tap dance with the damn devil one more again. I danced with the bitch for as long as I did. I know what's going on. So if someone's trying to convince you that you still need to dive in, maybe you've been hearing readings that, oh, the collective are still so hurt. No, no, we're not. We're good. <laughs> Over and out, 10-4. Some people may also think that you're selfish because of the way that you cut this person out of your life. Oh, well. Oh, well, no one's going to tap dance with the devil when the devil has decided to bring in 16 other people into our relationship. Absolutely not. I'm also hearing Two-Face. So this person who's telling you that you're not healed or you need to look at it again or whatever, that person may be Two-Faced it. You may be noticing that now. Or maybe there's just a friend who you noticed knew that this person was running around and never told you anything and they're Two-Faced it. That's it. I ain't even going to bring nothing else out. Like I said, y'all are making healthy decisions. Eating better, drinking your water, speaking to yourself better, experiencing something new, changing the feng shui in your house, meaning moving around some furniture, light an incense, light a candle, 
Get rid of old clothes. Some of y'all got rid of old furniture. Somebody got rid of the bed because that person used to be on the bed. Kudos to you, honey. If you got the money to replace it, replace it. Um, but you're being happier. You're loving life. You're experiencing new things. And these new things come with things that vibrate with you, right? Maybe you never really liked the farmer's market. Now, all of a sudden, you find yourself having chit-chat conversations and finding all these little underground little things to get into because you at the farmer's market with, you know, people that be around town. Whatever that may be, I just feel like your soul tribes are coming together. Your hobbies are coming together. You know what I mean? You're finding places and spaces where you just fit in and it feels good. And you don't have to have an entourage with you. You can just go and just enjoy life. Whatever that means to y'all. We all ain't at the farmer's market. We all ain't at the beach. I am. But we all ain't at the beach. You get what I'm saying? It could just be just be you in a, in a park with a bench and a nice view. And that just does something for you where maybe four or five years ago, you know, anybody got to go sit at the damn park all day. <laughs> but today you find that that's just a place for you to be able to get one with yourself. Find a little peace. Slow down for a minute. Right. Anyways, cut down. Cutting out separation. You're stopping the pattern and you really don't have too much to say to this person. Like even if y'all were across from a table, you would sit down. I feel like collecting and be like, OK, we'll talk. What do you got to say? And I feel like this person would think that you have an attitude. It's like, no, I don't have anything to say to you. You clearly want to communicate with me. So what do you want to talk about? <sighs> I'm telling you, that Instagram, if not, even if you have a business Instagram, they're hoping that you either slip up and put a picture of yourself or a video of yourself or something. This person be on that IG, but y'all are not with it. I, I keep trying to dig deeper, but y'all are not with it. Y'all ready to get back out there, meeting someone who, like I said, vibes with you. There's something about going on dates or taking someone on dates, really courting, opening the door and, you know, putting on a nice outfit, having a reason to dress up a little bit, get your hair done, get your hair cut. You know what I mean? Like smell good, buy a new cologne, buy a new perfume, like there's something about wanting to get that energy out there, right? Like wanting to be a part of someone who enjoys that. And I feel like that's coming for y'all. All right, let's get the butterfly kisses. Actually, no, I'm going to get something from the spirit team real quick. Now I'm going to end with the butterfly kisses. There's new love out there. I mentioned this earlier. Put yourself in the places and the spaces that you would want your new person to enjoy with you. You like bowling? Take yourself to different bowling alleys. See who you, you meet. See who you vibe with, right? You like to do paint and sip? Try to find a bunch of different paint and sips. You know what I mean? Put yourself in the place and the spaces, enjoying the things that you would want your new lover, the love of your life, to enjoy with you. All right, spirit team. Let me get two cards. Somebody has a thing for belts. Somebody has a thing for chains. <clears throat> like necklaces. But I don't feel like there's a pendant on these necklaces. Like there's nothing hanging. There could be, but I feel like it's more about the chain. So maybe this person likes, real, I don't know, jewelry and accessories. Because now I'm getting purses. And if you was out here getting Chanel bags, God bless you. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm seeing accessories though. Jewelry, belts, purses, luggage. Somebody had a luggage set, Louis Vuitton or something like that. Two card spirit. Somebody promised someone a very expensive bag or luxury set, never got it. Maybe they promised you Louis, they promised you Chanel, Fendi, something like that, but they never gave it to you. Because I just heard, yeah, but I never got it. Or yeah, but they took it back or something like that. All right. Find ways to fill your cup. It doesn't have to be Louis Vuitton and Chanel. It could just be something that was just very maybe pricey or special. Something like that. And they either never bought it or they bought it and took it back. Oh, did somebody get engaged? They took the engagement ring? Uh, <sighs> Find ways to fill your cup. <laughs> Hold on. Not the engagement ring, cuz. Um, find ways. Because who you going to give it? You going to take it back to the jeweler? Or you going to give it to the next one? Never mind. I don't even want to know. Um, find ways to fill your cup. Be self full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within, find your triggers and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself. And this right here is what I mean. 
I've addressed my triggers. I've addressed my hurt. I've addressed my heartbreak and heartache. That go, that's with me. I don't need anybody else outside of me to address the shit that's in me. I've addressed it. I'm ready to give somebody the best version of me today. That's the energy that I feel my collective is in. Oh, not the Gucci bag, Mel. Now you're going to have to give up on that Gucci bag. Let me know if you want to circle the block, Mel. I'm going to put on my ninja suit, you know, go through the back door. No, I'm just kidding. Never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious and you are worthy. And at the bottom of the deck, count all your blessings, even the small ones. Show gratitude and appreciation for all that you have in your life and all that has yet to come into it. Your best days are still ahead of you. Isn't that a wonderful thought? So no matter what you've been through, you've addressed your triggers. You've removed yourself from people who are just, like I said, succubus in your energy. And keep being grateful that it didn't take you down and break you, break you to your break pads. You get what I'm saying? You could be sitting on four flats right now with that nice jacket, that tie in the back, and that nice pretty padded room. But you fought back. And I'm being funny, but I'm serious. Count your blessings. Continue to send gratitude to your angels because the best of your days are ahead of you. I believe that 1,000%. All right. Butterfly kisses. <sighs> I have not ordered the deck yet. I do apologize to those who were looking to purchase this summer. I know I said this summer. My apologies. I've been on a little hiatus. But I will try my best to get these cards in as soon as possible from the printer. Okay? This is a deck that I created myself. It has messages of love, lust, romance, confirmation of who this person can be by age, by their initial. It also has guidance from spirit. So let's see. All right, spirit. Holy spirit. So this is how we starting. Y'all see this? This is how we starting. P -p 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 Please don't leave. <laughs> Please give me another chance. I wish I never walked away. I wish I never ended things. I wish I tried harder. Can we start again? No, 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 no. I feel like that was an old school commercial. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what came up. Does somebody like the movie Grease? I just heard Grease Lightning. Maybe somebody was a part of like a motorcycle club, a car car gang or something. I don't want to call it a gang, but a car club, something like that. That flew right out. This is too much, heartbroken. Everything I've been through with you, and this is how it ends. It hurts too much. My heart is in pieces. Before You Walk Out of My Life by Monica. Yeah, here we are face to face. Yeah. I'm, listen. I'm one of those readers. I don't like to say over and over. I told you so. But I told you so. This person stalks social media. And again, it, your Instagram or something feels like it's not on private because you don't use it. Whatever. It could be beyond Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. It could be some other platform. It just feels like something that you haven't used because, I mean, I don't use it. So why should I even take it down or block it? Like, I don't use it. This person still tunes in to some account, even if it's just old ass pictures, they still tune in. I'm just getting IG as the primary symbol that I'm getting. But it, what's big, Bigo, B-I-G-O? I know I've heard, I've seen that. I think I also may have been on Bigo before as well. <sighs> p -p 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 please. <laughs> Love Alf Alpha. You're the scum between my toes. That's what I just heard. So maybe somebody likes little rascals. Um, I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. Someone is seeking forgiveness for all that has been done and said or never done and never said. They might not say it, but they are truly sorry. I'm hearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your story walking. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I just heard. Feels like a loved one is saying that to this person. Calm down and look again. You just might, might be making too much of this situation. Slow down. Take one more look from a clear mind and a calm soul. I think that's what they want you to do, but you know this shit is toxic. You know it's toxic. They want to talk. 
but you know it's toxic. Like I, we'll see what else comes. I just, I don't think that's from spirit. I think this person wants you to not cuss them out. But I keep saying it. Collective don't have the energy to get outside themselves. So if you are a cross watcher, meaning that you're the ex who has all this to say, your person is not upset. They're not going to cuss you out because they don't have the time or the energy to do that. Okay. They know how to communicate on a mature level to not have to cuss and fuss and put their hand in your face. It don't got to be all that. Baby, I can, I can rip you to shreds in a very calm Mary Poppins tone, right? <laughs> you are the best I ever had. I know that now. Someone now can see all that this connection was, all that it could have been, and all that it should have been. And they wish they would have treat you, treated you better. All right, well, hey, c'est la vie. Somebody can still feel somebody inside somebody. Marcus, I don't have any panties on. <laughs> somebody might like boomerang. I'm getting a lot of like movie quotes. I guess you and this person watched a lot of movies. Y'all have like the same type of humor or something. <laughs> 26 to 38 years old could be your current age, the age that something happened. Um, could have been when y'all first met, could be your age now. an age it could be somebody younger than somebody by five or four four to five or more years i miss i love you i want you you're the one that i live for sorry i miss everything about you <laughs> there are so many things that this person misses about you your hair your eyes your voice your touch that thing the way that thing be banging. I'm hearing puddles. Does somebody call somebody puddles? Relax. Okay. Relax with the sexual innu innuendos. Okay. <laughs> Relax. Time, take time away from it all and clarity will come. And I think y'all did take some time. I think this person possibly needs to take some time away from everything they have going on. Their lying ass actions and ways. Y'all have already disconnected from this person. I think this person needs to disconnect. Like I told y'all when the when the uh, devil card came out, this person tied themselves to some shit. They might need to take a, take a moment and really think about some things. Think about their life. Card just popping today. <laughs> Heart chakra, love, compassion, balance, and unity. This person needs to tune in, clear out that heart chakra. I don't know if this person falls easy or people fall easy for them. So they must be a looker. They must be very attractive or maybe their money makes them attractive. Their clothing makes them attractive. They need to clear out that heart chakra because I think that they think that they fell in love with a lot of people and they did not. They don't know how to gauge love. If I, I don't think they know how to really understand what's love and what's lust. They might not know the difference between the two. Um, because someone flips backwards to give you uh, 50 shades of gray activity does not mean that they love you because someone um, made sure that you could eat and then drained your balls and then drained your pockets doesn't mean that they love you. Right. And I think that this person possibly is being waken is being awoken to this because now that they ain't got it like that, the ones who used to be all doting on them ain't doing it. The friends who, who used to be 10 tones down for you, they not here. So did they ever really love me? Like this person's asking themselves a lot of questions. I just heard dunce cat. This person's feeling like a dunce, like, like, like stupid. Let me just call it what it is. Soft music and candlelight. Be gentle with me, love. Adore me tenderly. Caress me gently. I need your soft voice, the romance, the candlelight, and the soft music. This person now knows. <laughs> telling you. All of those little things that people were doing, it was just because... They wanted something from that person. But you were just, you were home. I just keep hearing that you were home. Saying goodbye broke me into pieces. I didn't want to leave, but I had to go. It was the best thing for me and my growth, but it hurt like hell. And I feel like that's how y'all feel. It was the best thing for you. And yes, it, it hurt my heart too. I'm not saying I skipped to my loo down the damn street like I'm Mr. Rogers changing my shoes, but I had to do what was best for me. This was some toxic stuff. I couldn't, I can't stay in this. 
can't stay in this. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, absolutely. What is that about? True jumpers only, please, spirit. Yes, they want to talk. Yes, if you're open to talking, they're open to talking. Throat chakra, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we know that they want to talk. They just keep saying it. I want to talk. But once you, once you get in front of collective, what are you going to say? Because if you don't come with an itemized, real, mature conversation, collective is just going to sit there. Well, you take care of yourself now and walk away because we've gotten nowhere. If you can't admit and you can't grow up and be mature and sit in front of me and take accountability, then what are we doing? Nah. Oh. Okay, that one didn't go all the way under the desk. I can get it. Oops, sorry, y'all. <laughs> My apologies. Uh. Passionless. Since you've left, the fire is out. The passion for life and love no longer exists. The thrill is gone. Like I said, this person has thrilled themselves, excited themselves into a limp situation. They now see what really turns them on. That soft music, that candlelight, those old movies, that popcorn, making dinner together, play fighting together, you know, doing laundry together. All those little things that were boring as shit because you're just an introvert. You never want to go outside. Now this person done. <laughs> what do they say? After a while, you get used to it. Like if you play with someone's body parts for too long, it, it goes numb. This person is now numb to a lot of the exciting things that they used to do. You ride the same roller coaster 45 million times and you let me know if it's still thrilling and exciting. Take this one because it came out. <laughs> this person needs a, a, a chakra alignment. God damn. <laughs> this many chakra cards come out root chakra this person needs to get grounded they need to get balanced they need to find them their self in a place of safety and when i say safety somewhere where they can can grow and heal and and learn and love and and let go of some shit without being judged so they may have some immature people around them ain't nobody about to sit around and pray blah 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 i ain't never had that many root chakra cards you wanted this person. It says, I want you. I don't need you. Get it? You wanted this person. It wasn't about their money. It wasn't about their circumstances. It wasn't about the way they look. It wasn't about none of that. You genuinely, genuinely cared about this person. You genuinely wanted them a part of your life. Why we ain't got no initials? I guess we ain't got no initials today. I just noticed that. We don't have one initial on the board. Listen to your gut. Your intuition is right. Follow that feeling and answer the calling. And that's exactly what y'all did. Y'all got on with y'all life. And I mean, I just keep hearing in a very peaceful manner. God is very proud of you, Collective, for not, you know, I bust the windows out your car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this out there for those that resonate with because I heard you in your mind. I didn't bust no windows, but I bleached the hell out them sneakers. So I don't know if you did the whole, you know, garbage bag with the bleach and the, the mustard and all that. I don't know if you did that. <laughs> if you did, hey, I'm just putting it out there that I felt the energy that somebody's clothes might have got a little messed up. Or maybe their favorite sneakers got messed up or something <laughs> like that. Hey. I just heard I, he needed they he or she or whoever needed to fill it. Hey, I'm not here to judge. I'm just letting you know what I've received. Okay, <laughs> Auntie's not here to judge. Um, liar, the lies. I'm on to you, so give it up, liar. So you knew that something did not add up. Whether you knew that they were cheating or just running around just with their friends, just doing crazy childish shit. It does. Everybody's not out here a cheater. Okay. You know what this person did to take themselves away from you, to, to draw more into external than what y'all had together. And whatever that was, you knew that there were some gaps and some holes in the story. Hey, I got to go. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. Is that Trey Songs? Doom, ba da do doo doo. Mm, ba -da -do, the very first time okay so that's it and if i ever fall 
in love again. I will be sure that there is something. I'm also hearing John B. Um, Girl, let's talk about what your friends told you. That I'm a selfish man. Want my cake and eat it too. What is, I don't know what that song is called, but John B, his most famous song, okay? Finally, initials, B or O, initials of their name, your name. Could be a nickname. Could be a nickname or a name of a store. Who goes to Bonchon? I think that's chicken. I think that's a chicken place. Bonchon? I don't know why, I just heard Bonchon. So maybe y'all like Korean chicken? I don't, I don't know. B or O, it could be a name of a restaurant a nickname or one of y'all names. I'm not getting any third party energy around that initial right now. So it's either somewhere y'all like to frequent, to shop, to eat, a nickname or somebody's actual name, first, middle or last. Oh, not my card bending backwards. Y'all see that? <laughs> and it says abuse is never okay. Uh, okay. Um, abuse is never okay. Mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual, it's never okay. Yes, this person still wishes they would have married you. And I'm hearing, I wish I would have planted a seed. So maybe this person wishes they would have had a child with you if they do not. I'm gonna get three more cards and I'm done. They still adore you. All right, we're just gonna take those. All right. This person still adores you. Mm-hmm. I am getting again when I when I get this energy like somebody has some photos saved somewhere in like a vault. I guess it's like a password protected um, photo album or something. I'm gonna tell you what I got. Somebody was either in the gym, in a bathing suit, in a sundress, in sweatpants, sweatpants shorts. Standing in the, I don't know. It could be any, it's something about accentuating, thank you, spirit, the body. They have a picture where your body just looks really good. So if you know that they liked you in your bathing suit or you know that they liked you in those one sweatpants, they have a picture of that, okay, that they keep. Now we got some initials. Um, w or C, initials of their name or yours. A place y'all like to shop or a food place, somewhere you like to eat. E or N. Again, could be initials or places that y'all like to go. Um, but at the end of the day, this person is still in a narcissistic energy or at least a low vibrational energy where they're still connected to something that is possibly narcissistic. And like I said, y'all knew that this person was a liar. You knew that there was something more that they were not telling you. If they just would have confessed and opened up, maybe you would have been open. But here we are. I feel like years. I'm going to be honest. It feels like years later and you still can't admit the truth. Like, I can't even give you a friendship or be cordial to you because you can't tell the truth. I don't connect myself to liars. I don't connect myself to low vibrational people. I don't have a reason to hide anything in my life. And I don't want anyone around me to feel like they need to hide anything. I don't need to know every little detail about everybody. But you're not going to just withhold shit that you know is going to impact me. And I think that that's what this person doesn't understand. You're not asking for their whole book of their life front to back, side to side. But if there's something that's going to impact you... You want to know. It's almost one of those like, don't make decisions for me. You slipped up, you went and had sex with somebody, and now you got a baby, and you're not going to say anything because you know that I'm going to walk away. But you have to give me that information so that I can make the decision for myself. It may not be a baby, it may be something else, right? That this person did not let you in on so that you could have made the best decision for yourself. So, you once you felt the energy and you knew there were some gaps, you just went ahead and just excused yourself from the situation, right? I'm not going to walk through no hedge maze of you going through all this bullshit and you won't say anything to me. So I'm just going to leave because clearly you don't want to tell me the truth. Fine. That means you don't want me to be around. And I think that's how y'all carried it. Y'all moved on. And like I said, I feel like love is coming for y'all. There's definitely some chakra energy that this person needs to tune into 1000% and get grounded. One, like immediately, <laughs> they might want to get grounded before they get swept up in another cycle of karma. That's what I feel. All right, my loves, that's all I got. I will make sure that this reading and the, the higher self spiritual reading that I had earlier is both put on YouTube. I don't know who this person is. Um, cleanse yourself. Pray over yourself. Sage yourself, your house. 
Um, I don't think that you're in danger in any way. Somebody just says, should I be looking out my window or out my door to see if they're going by the house? Even if they are, I just don't feel like this person wants to physically harm you. I just think that they really want to be able to just say what they want to say and have you accept it and move on. It's like one of those, let's just pick it up and keep moving like nothing happened. And collective, y'all have, y'all are above and beyond that. This thing, like I said, has already been put to rest. This person is still living in the nostalgia, but y'all are not. Y'all have clear view of what happened, clear view that this person is not where you need them to be, and clear view of your future that is waiting for you. This person's in a whole other AI world all by themselves. I don't think they've tapped into reality yet. They keep playing off this nostalgia. I mean, I'm even hearing like if they do get the chance to talk to you, they probably will call you a nickname that was just something in between the two of y'all. And that might make you either queasy or turn you off completely if it hasn't already happened. All right, my loves. I got to skedaddle. <laughs> <laughs> truly appreciate y'all for the gifts for the comments for the follows for the attention for the exchange of energy it is also greatly appreciated um don't forget to follow me over on youtube the hill and butterfly the link is in my bio um it is my only channel this is my only tiktok please do not get scammed i'm noticing that they're starting to make fake accounts again god will take care of it hallelujah um <laughs> but i hope y'all have a great start to a short weekend for those in corporate um, those in business, prosperity to you as well. So y'all know how I do. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we connect again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. Take care. God bless.